Hey guys, what's going on? Perturb Koala here again, just for another quick video. That's why I'm just doing a quick recording of the TV because I don't want to set up everything. So I'm just going to show you real quick. Uh, this is how to put 120 frames for your Black Ops Cold War on PS5. So again, if you're having issues trying to get 120 frames, so Black Ops Cold War can play at 120 frames 4K on PS5 and I'm pretty sure on Xbox as well. Uh, let me turn down the volume. Uh, so right now you're looking at the stats or the settings menu of Black Ops Cold War, the PS5 edition. Make sure you have you have to go to your menu. So you'll hold this down. You'll go to your thing. It says Black Ops Cold War. You'll see on there there is nothing next to it. If you have the PS4 edition, it'll say PS4 right next to it right here. So make sure you have the PS5 edition. If you do, click into it, go to your settings, go to graphics. So scroll over to graphics. It says ray tracing and 120 hertz refresh rate. So to make sure to do the 120 hertz, you have to disable ray tracing. So go into it, disable it. Then here's the next part that most people don't know about. To enable the 120 hertz refresh rate, which you see on there, mine's enabled, but it's grayed out. The only way to fix that, to change it, is to go into your main, main menu, go to your settings over here, go down to save data and game app settings, something I normally don't mess with, but I, you need to go in here and check this out. You need to scroll down to game presets, and from here, you can fix a few things, but the thing you wanna look at is a performance mode or resolution mode. This is essentially, do you want the highest 4K slash whatever it can go up to, or do you want it to be the highest frame rate, so 120 frames? Or you wanna change that to performance mode, not game default, because the game default automatically puts it on a 4K mode, um, you want to do, and with the ray tracing and all that, you want to do performance mode if you're interested in 120 frames. If you want to do ray tracing, which looks beautiful, it's going to make the game look way better with real-time lighting, then go with resolution mode. But for me, I prefer the 120 frames, especially for Call of Duty, so we're going to do that. Have performance mode, then you go back to your game. You're going to have to close the game out and then re -back, open it back up. And then when you open it back up, you'll see the same thing enabled. And so then when you get into a game, even though there's no way to check it, you will be playing at 120 frames. Uh, I was just playing a game of zombies earlier at 120 frames and it was smooth as butter. But that was just me uh, putting it up there. Uh, this is my wife's profile if you're wondering about the Bun Bun Bree. But uh, just wanted to say uh, that's how you set it up. I was confused at first, and I'm glad I saw a video on it. So hopefully this guy this helps you guys out. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.